Hi folks, so I just want to pick up and end up this cable tray uh, video how we looked at before and show you how we use the modified tools to uh, run our cable tray. So I'm going to just place a piece here and I'm going to do this. And so you'll see I automatically will get that elbow in or that flat bend. It'll automatically show up there. And then uh, we did this where we used our modified tools to kind of work with this. So what we can do here now is we can go to the extend and intersect. I think I showed you this one. And we can do that. And then we can um, we can use the mirror command. We can just okay, sorry. We can grab all this stuff here. We can use our mirror from a point, say here to here. So that's another command we could use here. And then we can also um, I mean, we can use all these, so now let's look at our offset. So we can offset this, so we're going to offset a meter. So we can go like that, like so. And you see the connection will automatically place. So you can do that as well. And then we can copy, of course, and we can move. Now moving is pretty good because we can adjust these and it'll, it'll move the whole run here. So if I grab this, I'm moving the whole entire run, which is pretty good. Now, um, we can rotate too, I think. I haven't tried that. Let's give it a shot, see what happens. We can rotate, yep. Looks like we can do that. So we do a rotate here. And then, um, so these are all of the modified commands that we can use for cable tray. So when you're making your cable tray now, uh, a couple of other things you can do here. Let's say um, you wanted to basically uh, change these another way. So I can, like, see, we don't have any T's. So let's make one here. So we can select this tray here. And when you see these pluses, these pluses basically uh, are there that you can add in different uh, fitting sizes or different, different type fittings, whether it be a T, a cross. I think basically uh, flat beds or elbows, they can become uh, T's or crosses. So if I select this guy here, this cross, now it became a, uh, a T. Now if I go back here and I can take it away, so now on this side, I can select this one, and it'll become a T, going that way. And then I can just draw my cable ladder in here. So these are some neat little tools that I just learned here dealing with these cable trays. So um, and now here, we can do the same thing here. Like this guy here, you can just select it, plus in it. Okay, let's see. Let me get it. Okay, plus, and it becomes a, a cross. So, hey, folks, um, we learned a lot here about cable tray. And again, now, uh, you can also do, if you want to manually place a fitting, I mean, these are all automatic. They come in with the, let me just put this in our shaded view. These are all automatic, and they're coming in with our tray fittings. And this is one of our fittings. So basically, um, if you want to do one manually, you just go here to the uh, Insert tab. And then you will go and find, let's see, Load a Family. And I would go under, da, 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 let me see. Maybe Electrical, MEP, uh, I think Electrical Power. No, I'm sorry. This should be cable tray. Yeah, cable tray has its own, I think. Um, ooh. Here it is. So select cable tray fittings. And let's just go with a union. And I'll say open. And then we'll go into our system tab under 
cable tray fittings and there's my union so hey guys thanks for watching this video just wanted to show you some more little tricks with cable tray and remember you can do all of these modified commands here and we can even do a line so let's go and let's do this let's say let's kind of drag this guy out here I don't think we did a line we can go modify a line so we can align that to that So hey folks, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next video and everybody be safe and until the next time, bye.